I know as a child, you may get real frustrated that your mom always say no to everything. I mean, everything. But parents can say a no for a reason. Okay? It ain't just no reason that they say no. It's a reason. And I know as a child, like I said, you get very frustrated. You be like, oh, my mom was just, oh, she's mean. She's this, she's that. What up, gang, gang, gang? It's your girl, Prince P, guys. And we're back with another banger. And today, guys, we have some blue crab, some Maryland blue crab. We got some Miss Diversity 3's butter sauce. And, yeah, that's pretty much what we're eating today, just crab. And I got a cup of water. Water. <laughs> Let's get into this grace. Father God, bless this food. Let it be nurtured to my body. Bless the ones that prepared it in your name. We pray. Amen. And before we even get into this, make sure you guys check out the Epic Empire. Everyone's links in the description below. Period, poo. Period. Go check out the family. So, yeah. Mm. So y'all, I'm going to tell y'all about the time I broke my arm. So, I think I was like, I don't know, I think I was in fourth grade though. And um... Me and DJ, it was the weekend. And when we first moved to North Carolina, my mom, my auntie BB, my mama's sister, she used to live in, um, cause she was, my auntie is in the military. And she used to live in VA Beach, I think, yeah. She lived in VA Beach or whatever. And since we didn't have any family, or friends here where we live <coughs> we used to go see my auntie every weekend mm. <coughs> mm. it's sweet oh yeah and these are girls so this one weekend we were like we had already planned to go and um my mom we were like, we thought we were going to leave early that Saturday morning to go see my auntie. And um, my aunt was not answering her phone. So my mama kept calling her like, you know, we come in. But for some reason, I don't know. I think my aunt was at work and she couldn't get to her phone. So my mama didn't want to leave until she knew for sure, you know, that my aunt was going to be available for us to come. So this particular day, being children... Me and DJ, like, hey, it's Saturday. Shoot, we bored. We want to do something fun. Mm. So, we kept saying, Mom, can we please go outside? And she was like, No. Y'all not going outside. <clears throat> Cause y'all clean. She had just did my hair. We were dressed. Ready to go out of town. So she kept saying no. Over and over. Like. We'll wait an hour. She, after she said no. We'll wait an hour. An hour go by. And then we write back asking her again, Ma, can we please go outside? So anyways. I know for a fact we asked her about six times. I ain't lying. Mm. So that last time she said, you know what? Go ahead and go outside and you bet not get dirty. <clears throat> Stay right here in this yard. Don't go nowhere else. So it was like, yay, like, finally. Let me tell you something. Mm. 
I know as a child, you may get real frustrated that your mom always say no to everything. I mean, everything. But parents can say a no for a reason. Okay? It ain't just no reason that they say no. It's a reason. And I know as a child, like I said, you get very frustrated. And you be like, oh, my mom was just, oh, she's mean. She's this, she's that. So anyways, we go outside. And... I was like, DJ, let's ride our bikes around, you know, the driveway or whatever. We're riding our bikes. Everything fine. So, I went into the garage with my bike to do something. And when I came out the garage... I, w I end up in the grass and I was about to get back on the driveway like the pavement and when I tried to get back on the pavement my bike wouldn't go and it was like I bumped the I, like the the driveway was like a little higher than the grass so I bumped the pavement and then I flipped over my bike like over it and when I put over my bike I felt like that was a hard fall I was in a lot of pain y'all like it hurt really bad so of course I was crying so then my brother got off his bike he went over he was like oh my god I love her you okay so he was, he was trying to help me get up but Ooh, look at that. But for some reason, I couldn't get up. So, I started screaming. And I don't know if my mama ran outside. And she went outside and... She, looked, she grabbed me to help pick me up. And she looked at my arm, the one she grabbed. And she saw that the bone was poking out. And then she started screaming. So... Ooh, she didn't know what to do because she never experienced that before a broken bone so she called the um ambulance and of course they they came or whatever they were just like you know you could drive her yourself you know it'll be cheaper if you took her took me to the emergency but you know by her own versus me riding in the ambulance mm. y'all still that yellow stuff mm. Mm. I'm so good. Mm. This is so good to me. Oh my god. I can't even get into it like I want to. I know I just stopped talking y'all, I couldn't help it. I had to get into this good right here. This good, good, good. How you doing?
So let's get back to the story. So yeah, you get to the emergency room and I'm hollering, top of my lungs, cause this is all new to me. I do x-rays and kind of find out, yes, my freaking arm is broken. Who that? What happened? It broke right here. What's it called? The humus. Humus. I forgot the name of the bone, but it's hard to age. Mm. This one feels heavy. Ooh. Somebody asked me why I open my blue crabs the way that I open it. Oh. I don't know. What's the big deal? But everybody open crab differently. The point is that we get up in it. Basically, all I'm saying is it was a learning lesson for me. Listen to your mama. And ever since that day, I've always had a fear that if your mama say something or her discernment tell her something, take heed. Because nine times out of ten, she knows something and if she knows something right. Period. Even to this day, I'm 30 years old. She could tell me about people. She could tell me anything. And yeah. I right, listen. little baby I gotta do laundry tomorrow for real Well, gang, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified.
Gang, gang, gang.